Hey guys. All right, so I decided to walk down this pathway, which I must be a glutton for punishment because walking back up is a nightmare. Um, but I'll get over it. Anyway, there's a little island out here, which is interesting. And this is the walkway that I'm, I came down. Uh, let's see, there we go. And there's like a little, there's a tugboat in the background. Actually, two tugboats back there. And another island and several barges. And this is the walkway up close and personal. So come on, let's go for a walk, shall we? <laughs> like I said, I must be a glutton for punishment. Now these, I'm gonna just show you these, um, these, uh, these uh, what do you call them? They're dikes, okay? And basically they force the water or encourage the water to go a certain way. And they used to dredge it all the time so that it wouldn't be too shallow for boats. Um, but that's the purpose of the dikes, to direct the water. Uh, when I went kayaking in the river, um, it was so flooded that we basically floated on top of the dikes, which I wouldn't advise anyone to do it when it's flooding because that is not only extremely dangerous, but it's potentially fatal because you've got trees and all kinds of things you know, in the water that could hit you and cause you to get severely injured. So I had second thoughts about doing it, but my friend was like, let's go. You've been bugging me about it. Let's go. So I'm like, okay. Got a little bitty shoreline right here. Again, this is the Missouri River. So yeah, looks kind of shallow-ish right there anyway. So, uh, you got a lot of brush over there. I wonder if they knocked those down whenever they built this or if the weather had done that. I don't know which, but. So, when you walk down this trail, I'm gonna go a little slower so I can <laughs> conserve energy because like I said, it's uphill walking back and it's just not fun. But it's good for your body and good for your exercise for your body. Lottie Dottie, take care of your body. Get your heart moving and pumping and blood circulating and all that good stuff. So here is Deborah Cooper Park. Uh, Park. It's called an island. It's technically not an island uh, because it's connected to the mainland. So why they call it an island is beyond me, but I'm kind of technical that way. I'm like, it's not an island. What are you talking about? So anyway, got a little gazebo down here. So, oh, look at that. How freaking cool is this? Oh my God, look how big that is. Chess set, what the hell? You know I gotta check that out, right? What the hell? Oh my God, how cool is that? I have never ever seen anything like that before. That is freaking awesome. Oh my God, I love it. Look at that. Oh my God, I wonder if I could take a picture of it while it's on my screen. I'm gonna try. I don't know if I can. All right, I got my hand in the way, so that ain't working. Hold on, let me see here. Can I do that? Let me try. Nope, my hand's in the way still. That's freaking cool. That is freaking cool. Oh my God, I could take the picture from the video, it's fine. Oh my God, let me check these out. Look at that, that's cool as hell. Yep, and you can move them, wow. Oh, <laughs> I love it, I freaking love it. Wow, that is so neat. That is so freaking cool. I'm usually entertained, can y'all tell? So this is the uh, Missouri Bicentennial Chessboard. Okay, so yeah, I mean, this is really cool. I'm digging it. When I come back, I'll take a picture. I'll, I'll wrap this video up and I'll take a picture. I'm pretty impressed with that. Okay, Denise, pace yourself. Oh, well, y'all know my real name anyway. 
<sighs> pace yourself, girl. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. I've already, like I said, before they completed it, I walked up that hill and I'm like, oh God, I'm dying. <laughs> so I like this gazebo thingy. I got a thing for gazebos anyway. They're pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Now, if you have a cooler on wheels, you can actually pull it down here without carrying it because I'm always down for something on wheels. It's just a lot easier to maneuver. You know what I mean? When you have chronic pain, that's what you do. You figure out the easiest way to transport things. Okay. Let's see here. Plenty of places to sit and relax. And the weather is just so nice. I mean, it's warm, but in the shade, it feels good. See the river? It's so pretty. My dog would have a cow if he was coming through here. He'd be running around like a loon. He'd be having the time of his life. I like taking him places he's never been before because it's exciting for him. And uh, doesn't actually go all the way to the river. There's an island out there. That's pretty cool. See that a little island? Ooh, that's a drop off down there. A little bit on the dangerous side, but that's a cute little island. Huh. I could see myself kayaking out, out to it. That'd be kind of neat. So yeah, yeah, neat. This is my first time exploring all this since they've completed the, uh, you know, completed the park. I guess there's like a tiny trail there, but the, the brush is so thick that you don't really want to mess with that. So anyway, so uh, there you have it. There you have it. And they've got, I don't know, those little plastic uh, barriers try to reduce debris coming in is what that is. So I'm going to go over here to the chest set and I'm going to show you, see this? It's pretty neat. The walkway going up towards the Capitol is pretty cool. I'm going to have a little vulnerable vulnerable moment with you all right now. Um, I will be honest with you and tell you that I had a serious meltdown yesterday, a couple of serious meltdowns because so much darkness in the world and it really takes a toll, it takes a mental and psychological toll. So if you can do something that refreshes your mind and gives you a breather. I say go for it because you need it for your sanity. So, um, we're back to the chest set. So, um, yeah, whatever you do, try to, try to clear your head of, um, the debris because it'll cause you to spiral out of control and just keep some intense prayers going and um, I did a couple of angry pair uh, angry prayers I said God you know what's going on in this world you've got to help us you've got to break through this you've got to please so things don't happen in our time it happens in God's time so we have to keep that in mind and um, and we need each other. We need each other more now than ever, to be quite honest. We just, we need more good in our lives and more happiness in our lives instead of darkness. So, I don't mind being vulnerable with you guys because, I mean, I'm human just like everyone else. And I'm not going to ever come on here and act like, oh, well, I don't have the problems that you all have. Um, yeah, I most certainly do. I'm no different than anyone else. Even if I was a celebrity and a, or a famous person, you know, famous person slash celebrity, I would still be vulnerable and still be human because being a celebrity doesn't make you 
better than other people. It just makes you more popular than other people. A lot more people know you, but you have the same issues that everybody else has. You know, you just have a lot more money and a lot more toys, but you know, they're no different than the rest of us. Their bank account's different. And that's about, that's the main difference, but they're human. You know, they're not better than anyone else. So anyways, you guys have a good one. I'm going to climb back up this ramp and try not to die. <laughs> Y'all take care. Much love. Bye-bye.